Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sue Ralphs and today I'm able to share with you guys the part one of this entry. Guys, it's so, so exciting because to be able to kind of be where I am right now in this front room, that means that the rest of the house is kind of like a dust-free zone, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so hard when you have to to start doing like makeover in a room, like sanding, drywall and things like this when you just have a big room with door, without any doors. So it's very exciting because we are able to have this house clean for a while now and it's just really good. Well, six months ago when we bought this house, this entryway was looking like this, okay? And it wasn't like the worst entry ever. I love the fact that it was just a huge room and just an empty room. Right? So like, oh my goodness, I had so many ideas what I could do here. And I love the fact that we have this huge skylight that gives so much light in a day. Um, and this big size windows. I love those windows. I'm not planning, I'm not planning to do anything with those windows unless only uh, fix them and make them look prettier. The door, actually, we are planning on replacing this door next year because now it's getting in the cold season. I don't want to have to replace the door while it's very cold outside. So I decided to just do like a makeup in the, on the door just for this year and then next year we'll figure out because we don't know what exactly we want. Just know that we don't want a glass door, that's all. The windows eventually are going to get blinds, so we are on that step right now. The idea for this room was, I want to be able to put my plants. We are, I'm going to take advantage of this huge window. So I want to put like a huge wall built in sports cabinet. My husband really wants a sports cabinet where he can grab his sports gears and go. Like, uh, we are planning on doing this in a garage, but then I decided we compromised. The garage would be all mine for my wood shop. And I'm going to build this huge cabinet for him that's going to be really cool, very, very organized, so he can put his games, his sport, like board games in sports gears. So this is, uh, is a very cool thing because whoever buy this house or after us, if you ever sell, they'll be able to use this storage. We are building so much storage in this house that it's just, it's adding so much value into the house. This is my goal. And the other thing is, I don't know if you can see this huge window size hole in the wall. I really don't know what's going on there. Like, what person was thinking? I think it was a long time ago, it was probably was a window. That's what I have. You know, I love breaks. I really wish I could keep and make like a very cool arch around the breaks. I think it would be really nice. But this specific wall has, it's not exactly a nice, way to put the bricks right like it has this whole uh the size of the the entire wall they kind of like vary between you know the trim the doorway and the side of the corner so it just doesn't look good and because i have to close the window size hole anyway i thought about like i'm going to just cover this entire wall and hide those bricks because it just doesn't look good right now let's start the line <laughs> Look at this.
a few seconds ago, you saw me building this structure, okay? Today, it's like a week later, and I was working in another part of the house, which I was actually working on the dining room. I built this structure using two by fours, okay? I have this idea. I decide that the white part that you see, which is going to be the structure, right? That's the, the structure with the two by fours. I'm going to use a two by four and drywall, okay? Because I want to thick and I want to be... In the, on a budget so instead of using plywood I decided to use ply, uh, drywall okay as you can see I'm using two by fours right and drywall on the sides I'm also going to use drywall on tops but on the bottoms like this shelf this shelf you know like anything that's the bottom that's going to be using later on as a shelf I'm going to actually use plywood because drywall is not that strong Look on the sides first uh, because I want to be able to sand ease, I'm going to first put on the sides, add the mud, and then sand inside before I actually add the shelves on the top because I want to be able to go inside and sand because I hate sanding. So I'm trying to find a better way for me to sand. Okay, as you can see, I did all behind the scenes because was I, I started struggling. I was struggling this one. I'll be showing you guys how I'm putting here, which is very straightforward. I'm going to attach this one here, and then after that, I'm going to mud everything, and then it will look really good. Okay, so now that we are here, okay, I, the next thing I'm gonna do is I already put all the drywall that I needed and now I'm going to work on the edges. So I'm going to uh, have this types of uh, corner bed, which actually, I bought like the small one. I'm not exactly sure uh, if it's going to work. In some spot, most of the spots are going to work this one, but I think because it has some gaps in some of the, some spaces that I have to use like a bigger one, which I have scrap wood from, oh, not scrap wood, I have some scraps of the, the bigger corner bead that I'm going to attach in some places. But, so this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to pretty much take this and um, put like this, scrape a uh, staple on it, and, and then I'll be able to use the mud after that. I'm trying to reach a goal this the end by the end of the year of reaching 1,000 subscribers in my YouTube channel. Ask your help to please subscribe button and help me reach my goal. Very important to me to hit this milestone. If you have family members or friends that love DIY in projects like this, share it with them. That I really really appreciate.
Okay, so I'm very excited for this for this part because look, so this door eventually we are planning on replacing. So maybe next year we thought about replacing this ear, but right now it's October. It's getting chilly outside, and I really don't want to work in like I really don't want to do any projects for outside from now until the next year with the better weather. So, but the thing is. The reason why we don't want this door here is because the window. We don't like having the window. I, I love the, the the windows, okay? But we have plenty put blinds on the windows. But the doors, I don't like the blinds in the doors. I don't think it look good. So we want to replace this door for something with a not a window door, but with a, with a door without a window. That makes sense? Anyway, so since we are going to replace this door anyway, and I painted and the door is not like in perfect condition. So even though it's painted, it's just makeup, okay? So I found this, unfortunately you won't be able to see what it is because I painted and, but maybe you can see, first the glass. So I found this on Home Depot, okay? And I want to try. I want to try to see if I can add privacy without having to add blinds, okay? So let's give it a try. I don't know if you need to give more than one coat. I'm going to wait and see. As you can see, uh, I feel like the parts that you still can see from outside is because it's wet. The other ones, I think, are already dry. So, let's give a few minutes and see how it works and to see if I need to give a second coat, it's fine. to do all of here and so far it's not even finished and I just love I love I think it's just awesome I just have a few things to do which is pretty much uh, add a lamp a lighting on the uh, behind you guys where the arch is and finish the built-in it's pretty much done of course 
I'm going to put like a bench later, but that is, but this is where I stuck, okay? So the doors that I want to build for this beauty in is going to be an artistic type of door. So I have already the design in my mind. I think it's going to really, will look really good. But I do need to set up my wood shop and my tools first because I really want to do this in a very nice way. So I have to build the furniture for the house. I hope to be designing a table before Christmas. Right now we are in November. If you like this video, if you thought this video was helpful, please give a like and let me know what would you do different in this space? What do you do, like use this space for? I would love to know what you think. And hope to see you in the next one.